Welcome back, everyone, to another Buddy Pal Late Night Cast episode three. Four? Three. What episode is it? It's three. Okay, it's three. Okay. It's Welcome so long. to episode three. So first things first, I want to apologize. Um, you know, we, we've kind of been lagging with, you know, Buddy Pal Late Night Cast episodes, like uploads and all that. Uh, I'm sorry for that. It's just... Honestly, I don't have a valid excuse. Do you guys have a valid excuse? Yeah. We, we've just been very busy with uh, schooling and, and stuff. Yeah, we've That's, all been yeah, transitioning our not. lives. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But it's all good. We're back. We're recording. We're chatting. Probably. Probably. And you're listening to us. Thank you for that. <laughs> all right. Enough chit chat and let's make with the chit chat. Yes. All right. So, Topic number one. Is Star Wars still cool? Oh. Alright, who's leading off the topic? Our Star Wars experts. Okay, why don't we start with just saying yes and no, and then we'll break down why. That could work, yeah. Sure. Mm. I All say right. yes. I mean, I could go either yes or no, you know? I mean, at this point, I think the magic of Star Wars is faded and everybody just knows what to expect of a Star Wars film. Uh, personally, I haven't seen enough films myself, but, like, I guess they used to be cool back in their heyday. I mean, didn't everything used to be cool back in their heyday? But, like, you know, now they, they're just pumped so frequently there's so many spin-off side stories and everything that I just feel like it's confusing to even get a hold of. That does make sense, um, but I have, I have a quick question. Like, are we are we talking about like actual like Star Wars films, or are we talking about like Star Wars lore, like comics and stuff like that, or just Star Wars in general? Star Wars, no, just Star Wars in general. In general, okay, because yeah, movies, lore, comics. Yeah, okay. films. Films are a bit. Yeah, yeah by now, like, the, like if if they make another Star Wars film, it's not gonna be as like hyped up, uh, like as they used to be or whatever. They're, it's not gonna be like as amazing as people would expect it. I, I used to expect Star Wars films to be. Um, but when it comes to like Star Wars comics and everything, like, yeah, that's definitely like still pretty sweet. That's that's still pretty cool, um, in my opinion, of course. Um, of course, like being a, a Star Wars fan, like I will still watch any Star Wars film that comes out in the f in the near future. Um, but like, Augie is correct. Like I I do actually kind of agree with Augie. Um, it is kind of like there's so many like different kind of like side stories and everything that's kind of getting confusing by now and kind of like getting difficult to kind of keep up with it with the storyline and everything. So um, that does make a little bit of sense. But I mean. Which storyline isn't that's sometimes awesome. confusing? It also seems like it now is just like a bunch of cash grabs. Oh, we have Han uh, and Solo, the Star Wars story. A bunch of people hated on it. I personally didn't watch it, nor have I watched any Star Wars. But it kind of seems like they're getting to a point where there's too much Star Wars, and the more they pump out, the less cool it becomes because of the quality decreasing. Right. Isn't there supposed to be another one coming out in the next couple years? One I based on so, yeah. I mean, like, the one, the the only one I've seen with you guys, what was it? Rise of Sky, no, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, what was it? I don't know. Force Awakens, I, I believe. Yeah. No, it was the Rise of Skywalker. Oh, uh, it was the Rise yeah, of Skywalker. It was the Rise of Skywalker, and yeah, it was pretty all right. It was, it was. I gotta say, it was pretty all right, but left a lot to be desired, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, even for a heavy <clears throat> character like me. It just felt like it was just all the way enough to be acceptable, but it was still very empty for me. Yeah. I didn't watch it, nor did I really have interest in watching it. And that kind of, um, but yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even finish his thought, just, but yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah. <laughs> but, <clears throat> right, but like on the topic of Star Wars being cool anymore, I'd say that some people like, yeah, Star Wars is still like Star Wars, man. It's like the action adventure space films they've come to know. Oh, did I yeah. accidentally mute? Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't. Okay. Like I was saying, uh, Star Wars is still Star Wars. I mean, people love it. it. Like, whether it be young fans or old fans, I mean, of course, you got people who, who are very like uninterested or indifferent. You know, it's mainly um, 
a thing of subjectivity. Yeah. Yeah, that makes, well, that makes sense. That's, that's well put, yeah. Here's the thing, though. I like, I get what most of people are saying, but the thing is, you gotta, like, not only look at the films themselves, but who's, like, behind the screens, because with, like, the new Star Wars trilogy, they didn't really have a real direction to go with, which is why Rey's parenthood started out as a being mystery, then it went to, like, being nobody, then it went to being Emperor Palpatine, which was so confusing for everyone, and then you got, like, other, like, characters that were sidelined, like, um, um, oh, what are they named? Finn was sidelined. Um, dang, what's her name? Rose. Uh, Rose? No. I think so. Rose. Can you Point explain B. in a non Star Wars y language? Okay, what I'm trying to say is it all depends on who's like, like leading the way because the new Star Wars trilogy was tough because they didn't really have like a director going with that. The Mandalorian, on the other hand, actually has a director who's like really pumped up for his stuff like if you, like re- listen to any of his interviews you really understand star wars he like goes down to breaking down every movie and why they're all interconnected and all that and why star wars is such a fandom yeah. and he really understands it which is why Mandal- mandalorian is doing so much better than all the other star wars properties that's right now how yeah. is mandalorian doing anyway they aren't like Aren't they supposed to get another season soon, or did it launch, or is it next year? Like, I'm completely out of date with The Mandalorian. Like, it's it was coming popular. out in the, the end of this year, I think in November. Like, it, it was of, so popular, but then it just dropped for some reason. Probably because of the, there's only one season. Uh, I believe it's still pretty popular, just like it's like not a lot of like nobody's like exactly like talking about it all too often anymore. Like there like there's it's definitely still a lot of people still watching it and everything. They're just not really talking about it as much as they used to when it first came out and everything. So I, I guess. mean, I think it was a little overhyped. I mean, you slapped the words "baby Yoda" and everybody went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, thing. <clears throat> that's the thing. No one knew about Baby Yoda. That was just until you watched the season. Yeah. So apparently, it's supposed to air October thirtieth. I just checked. Oh, Happy Pikmin Three Deluxe release day. <laughs> All right. Um, is that is that everything to be said on uh, Star Wars? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, Star Wars is still Star Wars. They're pumping out a lot. They're decreasing in quality. Some vary, but they're still pretty all right. Yeah. With this holding them, they're still going to drop in quality, most likely. So, hey, what you, never know. you might get another breakthrough like Rogue One. Yeah, exactly. Rogue One was absolutely incredible. I loved Rogue One. Then you get a dip like Solo. <laughs> 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 Solo was. Eh. Okay. Yeah, it, it was all right. I mean, I still enjoyed it just as like it, it was kind of cool to like kind of watch a you know a small backstory of uh, Han Solo and everything. But I don't know. Like, I feel like it it could have been better um, with a couple of improvements here and there. But yeah. Uh, Anyways, well, I, um, I enjoyed it much more when I got out of my idea that it was Star Wars connected. Once I thought of it as it, its own like, like independent bubble, I was like, <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good movie. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. So you're saying it's a bad Star Wars movie, but a good movie. All right. All yeah, right, pretty right. much. Okay, on to the next sense. topic. All right. On yeah. To on to the, the next the topic. Movie. What's with the Mario movie? That's a great right. question. Right. Okay. The first thing we can all start talking about is Illumination. Illumination <laughs> is handling the project of the Mario movie. Of course, Miyamoto is like breathing down everybody's necks when it comes to it. But we still got to take in fact that it's, this is still Illumination we're talking about. This is the Minions that we're talking about. <laughs> and is a problem with the Minions? I mean, yeah. not recently, yes. A couple years ago, no. But what I'm saying is that this could either go really good or really bad. And Illumination's really good at being cheap. What do you guys think? Well, with Nintendo providing the money, I don't think they're really gonna cheap out on this one. Heck, you've said it yourself, Miyamoto's gonna be breathing down on everybody's neck, making sure that they don't mistreat his Mario. He treats Mario like if it is his child, as he does with Pikmin. Hmm. Hmm to all of that in general. So, uh, what do you you guys think about the Mario movie? What do you guys want to see in it, like... 
how do you think it's being handled? I agree I that know. illumination can be very interesting sometimes in the works. Like the Grinch, for example, I just felt was very low and very similar, way too similar to Gru from Spectable Me. But then again, like you said, um, Miyamoto is like producing uh, producing it and very getting very involved in the story plot, so it could turn out really good. I mean, well, yeah, but this is a Mario movie we're talking about. Like, everybody's just expecting it to be Mario saving the princess from Bowser, like... And it's probably going to be exactly that, like, make it more complicated. Yeah, I, I, mean, I definitely see the potential in it and everything, and, like, how it could be, like, a really good movie and everything. Um, but as you as you said before, like it could it could uh, it could go either two ways, you know, like either really good or really bad. So like if if they do do it wrong, like it will basically just flop, and that's not going to be too great for either Illumination or like just anybody really. So <laughs> Nintendo's going to be scared from working again with Illumination. So Illumination <laughs> needs to make sure they treat Mario correctly because if not, they're not going to be allowed to. Pro- and do other projects since they uh, and then it, Universal owns Nintendo rights, like the link, the rumored link, um, Legend of Zelda with Tom Holland link. You know, I see why they chose Illumination of all studios because DreamWorks is pretty irrelevant. I they don't want to go through legal battles with Disney, and then there's just Illumination, which is just like an independent studio. You know, and it's also so, yeah. they Sorry? also. They also own Nintendo World, so. Oh yeah, Universal and everything. Uh, that may would make much more sense into the merging. But yeah. What I, I mean, really. Want. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I, I was gonna say that I would really like to. I would really like to see how this uh, movie develops in terms of, in terms of plot, because you know. I, it could be something like describing Bowser's motives to why Peach. Uh, it, it could, uh, like, why he wants to kidnap Peach all the time. Why is it that he's madly in love with her or whatever? Or if he's madly in love with her, you know? Um, Bowser is secretly her daughter. That's a topic for another day. <laughs> yes. And, and, and then it could delve into the relationship between Mario and Luigi. Uh, like, the and. If there's one thing, this movie is gonna beat Sonic movie 2022. Hmm. Well, I like the Sonic movie. Uh, it it was it was to me to me it wasn't really a true to Sonic, but that's whatever. In terms of box office, and I mean the voice was decent, pretty good for Sonic. Not yeah. Having- Robot one, Sonic zero. Wait, no, that's <laughs> not the line. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of voices, though. Mario is, un- as you all know, is more of a um, right. physical person than, than verbal guy. So yeah, what do you guys think is a- going to happen with that? Right. So what I'm hoping is that they keep Charles Martinet, the voice actor for Mario, um, and, Luigi. and Luigi, everyone with hats in the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, colored hats. But what I want to see is that Mario and Luigi and all the characters that don't normally speak is speak you know i mean even if how it's many the bare characters minute... is too many what how many characters is too many we don't want to oversaturate because what sonic did correctly as much as i hate to admit is ma- uh, make sure that everybody gets to know the characters that are introduced so that they're not just oversaturated uh, like toss these characters they don't understand a lot because there's new audiences that are probably not right no yeah that. That's why they definitely got to keep it simple, you know, with Mario, Luigi, Bowser, and Peach, and probably Bowser Jr. and some Toads on the side, you know. But those are the main characters that obviously are going to be involved in the story. And really, to have a good movie flow, you have to have characters speaking. I mean, you can't just have a third party character speaking for Mario the entire time. Uh Um, Wally. (laughs) <laughs> okay, Wally is an exception, but this is the Mario movie we're talking about. <laughs> what I really want to see is, you know how Illumination does short movies before them on uh, their movies now? Copying this yeah. What if we have a Pikmin short before the Mario movie? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it always oh comes god. back to Pikmin. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, cool, Mario movie, but what about Pikmin? <laughs> 
yeah. Anyhow, I, um, I think one of you guys mentioned this, but briefly mentioned this, but as you know, Illumination has this like very interesting art style that they have, which is similar yet very different to like Nintendo lore. So, what do you all think is gonna happen to that? Right. So, Illumination likes to use a lot of solid coloring. They like to. They don't use a lot of heavy shading. They seem to use the bare minimum to give the illusion of depth and uh, reality. And again, Nintendo's going to provide more money, so they do, the animation is probably going to be better. But, I, yeah. I'd say, yeah, I'd say that the, the quality of what Illumination does is similar to uh, Super Mario 3D World and how that game looked. But Very. They... Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, like very rounded, very plasticky, shiny, you know? <laughs> without without much uh, heavy detailing. The only thing is that Illumination likes like tall, skinny people. The Grinch, Gru, and I, mean, I was I mean, thinking Laura. Gru wasn't skinny, I mean his legs, his legs were, were skinny. skinny. It, like more like just skinny legs in general. Oh. Like tall and skinny legs. For example, the, the guy from Lorax was tall and very skinny. The Grinch had very skinny legs, um, where like his legs were skinny per se, and was a little bit like in the tallish, mediumish side. And then there's Gru, who had the extremely skinny legs. Why are we, we talking? Have, about this? Now you have have me thinking tall, skinny Mario. <laughs> I no, mean, Mario that's has to be that's, Walu- that's Waluigi and Luigi. Uh, mainly Waluigi, but yeah. So Mario movie, you gotta have them talk. If not, just talk the let them talk bare minimally. The voice actors. Please, under any circumstance, do not turn toads and um goombas into, into minions. Toads or goombas do should not be the new minions. Yes, no, 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 no. I think they can do some fun stuff with them, but yeah, I agree. Not don't make them minion copies. Because yeah. I'm scared. They're, they're characters that are kind of like perfect <clears throat> for that kind of thing. And it's not good, per se. Now, something I kind of want to disagree with you, Augie, is voice acting. As much as I agree that it'd be amazing mm-hmm. to have like iconic voice actors from Charles Martinet and all them fun people, they're all getting old. And if Nintendo and Universal... I mean, yeah, Nintendo and... Um, Illumination want to keep this franchise going. They're gonna have to go with slightly younger people because you never know what might happen. I mean, Charles Martinet is Mr. Mario, though. You know, he's Mr. Wahoo and stuff like that. You know, you just can't. You just can't have fifty-five years old still. You can't have Mario without Martinet. I mean, I mean, I mean, Kevin Conroy is the voice of Batman, and yet he's not in everything Batman voice related. Yeah, I know, but this is but Nintendo. you could start the first few Mario movies with Charles Martinet, and if you ever decide, I don't think they're gonna make that many Mario movies, max two, if any, others. And after that, if you decide, hey, let's change voice actors, then they just do it. But for the first few, they try with Charles Martinet, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is. Oh, go ahead, Alberta. I've okay. been talking. You've been fine. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, like, it is possible to like um, find a like a younger like voice actor who can still play, um, like the or who can still like uh, do the voice of Mario. Um, for example, like, l- for example, like I don't know if you guys knew, but Cleveland Brown. I don't really follow up with with Family Guy all too much, but uh, Cleveland Brown was just recasted. Um, because the original uh, Cleveland Brown voice actor like retired, right? Um, and this extremely big YouTuber, his name is Azra, he then took over the role of Cleveland Brown, the voice a- like uh, as like uh, the voice actor. So it is still like possible that they can still get a younger voice actor to be able to play the part, as long as they can still like basically perfectly imitate the like the original. I mean, but you have oh. to be careful because if not, then you're gonna get a whole Scooby Doo scenario. Scooby- I was about to say, Scooby Doo has been uh, finding new voice actors that sound exactly the same for over 65 years now. <laughs> but then, like, sense, yeah. we don't want it to be like big just for the sake of having big names in the movie. Because again, Scoob did that and it got heavy criticism because the actors didn't sound squat like the the characters do. Shaggy don't sound like Shaggy. 
I mean, I I think it still performed pretty well though, despite that. Do something! I, Throw please. some F-bombs! <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch it though. Yeah, that, that was a very random joke. Alright, well, um, as much as I would like to continue talking about this topic... Uh, yes, I was about to say so. Yeah, running a long time. Um, I we're still so, at 20 minutes. We, we, I mean, we have another 10 minutes, if you want to keep it at 30. Okay, sure. College board! Why right. it's overrated yeah. anyway? <laughs> it's not. I'm just getting it in. College board overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh. who's starting? I've been starting too much here. I don't like SATs or ACTs. <laughs> That's a different company. You have to pay money to... I mean, I don't even know where I'm going with this. <laughs> well, first of all, here's the thing. College Board is one of their number one things are AP um, classes and AP exams, which are this like thing that make the freshmen think, oh my, that's big, we gotta all take that, you know, like all the counselors and like, at like, um, it's called the high, high school rallies, they're always like, hey, you should take an AP class, they're really beneficial for you in college, you know, <laughs> and it's just, it once you get to college, you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like, huh, I wasted my time for this? Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, okay. In all, in all honesty, to be fair, I'm not taking an English class right now, so I guess thanks <gasps> with the English. But, but other, other than that, College Board is really overrated. I mean, you take the class, then yet you have to pay a high price to take a test for that class, and you still have to pass that test in order to get the credits. Get the I'll be fair to whatever you want, but. There's point. There's a point where College Board isn't extremely overrated. SAT wise, yes, it's overrated. They're forcing you to pay uh, to try to take the test that only they that they are providing to make sure that uh, be, uh, uh, um, make sure that you actually um, get it. Like the colleges are gonna look at it when they really shouldn't. They should just look at what you've done. Cause heck, maybe you may have may have forgotten some things in the past or exactly. such. But then the AP test, on the other hand, they, they kind of do benefit to some extent because it kind of prepares you. It gives you a... Because when you're a freshman, you're all like, nah, school is easy. Ah, so easy, easy A, easy A. And then you enter into an AP class, AP Euro. And well, then they, really, it really depends. Sorry, what? And then they start kicking your boot for the most part. I mean, yes, some, I know what... Uh, I. I think I know what you're gonna say. Uh, some teachers are different than the others, right? No, I was gonna say it really depends on what major you're taking when you get to college. This summer, because something weird. If happened. you take certain AP classes uh, in high school and you have a major that cor- that does not coincide with any of them, then you're not really gonna run into any classes where you had you had the opportunity to skip, you know. But I mean, you still get the experience and it. I think they still count as general college credits if I'm not mis- Wait, no. Yeah, I don't think so. But, Quiet yeah. one. What is your opinion on the matter? The non AP <laughs> student? It said me. The guy that only won a two AP class. Okay, okay. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to mention that. Okay, so I was <laughs> never one because I never really had, like, to be completely honest, I never had a goal in life when it came to like i never saw my future involving um or like I, I, okay i never saw myself benefiting from spending money on like ap tests and everything because i never have had or have a plan um for school like school related i don't have a plan right like the old, i'm just i'm going to college just because i want to have a backup community right college. uh yes community college just because you know it's cheaper and i honestly do not know i never knew what i wanted to do and i still don't know what i want to do right um and i don't think i ever will know uh, until i finally you know like until the day comes that like you know wherever i succeed i succeed whatever you know but like i said i never had a plan so i didn't see myself benefiting in any of the ap tests like uh, in taking the ap tests i never like saw myself benefiting from them in any way Right. All I just saw was just money being spent on something I would never use again. 
right? Yes, you bring up a good point. Like all the teachers and counselors say that, oh, everybody should take an AP class, super beneficial. But like, it does, it's really not for everybody, you know? Not that I'm saying that, you know, like certain people can't take it. I'm saying that certain people are just going to go into trades or jobs that just really don't require knowledge from an AP class, you know, exactly. or exam. Plus, like, like the school system is really like kind of messed up to be completely honest. Like, uh, yeah. like, like everyone, like, okay, kids, ex kids think like their mentality nowadays is like immediately, like without them even knowing that it was drilled into their mind like this. Um, like their mentality immediately is that the you know like you go you go to school right, and then you go to high school. Right after high school, what what do you expect from a student that comes out of high school? They go to college, right? That's what everybody expects from them. But that's not for everybody. College isn't for everybody. Like, it's you're not you're not like, it's your choice whether or not you want to go to college, right? Like, there's mo there's a lot of people out there who never went to college and are still like extremely successful in life, right? It, depending on your uh, definition of success, because there's believe me, there's mul there's multiple definitions. Uh, it all re it really all depends on yourself, right? Your own. Uh, choice of like knowing what your own success is right um so like for example for me like success for me would be that uh my youtube channel continues to grow and i succeed in my youtube channel i start making revenue on it and i make it my actual full-time career right but for a lot of people they expect like success to be you go to college you graduate from college and you get a career from that but that's that that's not always the case like there's a Actually, lot of yeah. yeah there's a lot of college students who graduate with bachelor's degrees and they are homeless and broke yeah so, it usually takes a, a couple of years after college graduation to get on your feet and get a job related to your bachelor's degree exactly so they're really yeah. like teachers really emphasize like taking ap tests and everything a little bit too much because like not every student is going to go to college either by choice or by restrictions of money. Yes, there is financial aid, but like maybe they won't, maybe some students are like, are, aren't willing to sp like even still spend money to go to college still because like they're, they're just so, they're too tight on money that they can't even afford to go to college. Not even a community college, right? Even with the help of financial aid. But like, I don't know, like I, it is overrated and honestly okay. like, schools and teachers they they uh i don't know like it's, a, it's overrated, it's, in the, overrated. In, it's overrated on how they promote college board and ap classes but it's the the material itself isn't too overrated for students who will find use in it yeah and also among the freshmen who are like well it's the best thing ever <laughs> <laughs> freshmen yeah for so. the people who brag about having five out of six classes being ap i mean those people get on my nerves. Huh. Joseph, anything to add? Mm, no, I think you all covered it all. It's overrated, yet not at the same time, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, back, back to the point that we made on Star Wars. But you don't have anything to share about like, your AP classes or anything? No, I made it through most of them, except for like two, I believe, that I totally failed. Okay, so l l some AP classes can be fun, let's just say that, if you get yeah, the right teacher. Is, yeah, that is true, that is true. <laughs> AP Chem like was actually fun. It was, it was oh, fun yeah. to take the class. Yes, I, I have to admit, I did not pass, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun, <laughs> honestly. I had, I had a fun couple fun teachers for AP classes. Like, the classes themselves were not fun, but, like, teachers really make them fun. Yeah. The classes themselves were fun. <laughs> like, just, Wait, just about, the subject itself is not really fun. What about but Spanish? The what do you mean? Oh, it's like AP Spanish literature or language? Both. The language was really, like, boring in content, but fun because of the teacher and yeah. literature. Yeah. Same language, Julio. we didn't even have much content. It was mostly just, hey, do this activity and go. True. Yeah, for me, it was definitely the teacher and the people in the class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> since, uh, since like you know, we're like, like, I mean, we were we were like in uh, an AP AP lit right or AP Spanish lit together. So like that was it, that was a blast. Even though like, of course, like I didn't exactly too do, do too great, but 
I mean, like, again, like, I go back to my original point, like, I didn't see myself, like, benefiting too much from it, so honestly, I didn't give it too much importance, all, like, all too much, um, but it was still, a, like, it was still a blast to be in the class, either way, right, so, yeah. yeah. Shout out to all those people who don't study. <laughs> yeah! Shout out to all those people that do study. No, they're uptight. Honestly, okay, don't, not all of them. don't be like me, but don't be like Martin either. <laughs> in other words there's a gray study, area between don't study too much exactly don't exactly <laughs> study but don't study too much exactly you know, you know like th- there's a balance okay there's a balance to everything right there's, you just gotta find that little gray area that's where you operate <laughs> <laughs> I just got it oh my god. all goodness. those who don't understand the moment Alberto said balance Augie snapped his fingers if you don't get the reference, then you're a poozer. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you get the reference like if you don't. That they, Well, I guess we should call it a wrap, no? At yeah. Well, yeah, that's everything we had for the Buddy Pellet, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now get yeah. out. All right. Now get um, out. Yes, <laughs> get out of here. Get Stop out. it. Go watch our other podcast. Stop watching this one. <laughs> and if you already watched it, it's them, over, man. It's over. Go home now. Martin, go, go home. away. Go. Martin, go away. Stop. <laughs> All right, guys. Bruh. Thanks for listening. We'll see you. Yeah, and hopefully... Bye. All right, bye, everyone. <laughs> All right, bye, everyone. Somebody try to mute us so we can have the last word. All right, guys. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel. Uh, the link will be down in the description of the podcast. And um, I would really appreciate it if you were to just maybe drop a subscribe, maybe like on the videos. I upload every Mondays, Wednesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, I'm doing my best to keep up to the schedule. Just, you know, if you want, you can um, kind of get like sneak peeks, previews, and maybe a little bit different content like uh, gaming content like Minecraft and such uh, games. So yeah, with that said, guys, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, listening, whichever one. And um, we'll see you in the next podcast. I'll see you later.